Hey, hi, it's Brianna. I'm checking in for day 18 of Body Slums. Um, today was a Sunday. It was Mother's Day. I woke up and watched the video right away. I felt, like, perfectly fine. I got up, we went to church early. There's always, like, a snack table. And when we walked in, I was feeling kind of hungry, but I'm like, none of those snacks are ones that are, like, sustaining snacks. They're all, like, you know donuts and things. So I didn't have any. Felt very happy with myself. I packed a protein bar and I ate that about noon. And then <laughs> the rest of the afternoon kind of was difficult because we went, we had like a meal with friends and we got pizza and salad. And the salad was like, I don't know if you've ever had like an Italian, like an Italian meal antipasto salad, but it was like olives and peppers and iceberg and then a whole bunch of lunch meat and cheese and pepperoni and I was like cool I should have planned and I hadn't and by that time it was like two and I was like hungry so I'm so I sat down and tried to calculate up what I thought would be a good portion and I ended up having like two small pieces of pizza and like small and then a salad and then I measured my ranch or measured my dressing out. And I felt like I hadn't really, besides the, I'm telling you all this to tell you, I felt like I had a reasonable portion, like I had two small pieces of pizza and a, and a small portion of salad. And then I went for my walk. My walk was at, I walked with a friend and we walked for like an hour and 20 minutes. And then I was pretty slow, <laughs> but we got like, two and 2.67 miles in. Um, although now I'm kind of wondering with my watch, whether it's accurate or not, but whatever. Okay. But then here's the thing because it was mother's day, my son had bought ingredients to make homemade ice cream. Like that was his kind of present besides flowers. And I knew they were making homemade ice cream. So I was like, when they started to make homemade ice cream, I thought, I'm going to go take my walk because that'll like keep me motivated and like inspired kind of to keep on my plan. Even though I had like 600 calories left to have ice cream, like I could have had some ice cream if I had portioned it out. I went and took my walk and when I got back, a bunch more family had showed up and there was actually no ice cream left. And I had literally been thinking the whole walk, like I'm going to have ice cream and been looking forward to it so then when I got back I was like a little disappointed and I was also hungry and I was like shoot so I picked at pretzels and dip and I had like 230 calories of that and I'm like this is a pat poor choice poor choice so but I did look at the measurements and like you know was still within my calorie limits but I recognized that like it wasn't actually what I wanted and I was just literally thinking about ice cream or something sweet so much so then I was like this is this is not like this is not I'm not feel, I'm not happy I'm like I could tell I could just keep snacking like literally all evening because also it was like kind of a party like there was a bunch of family around there was a bunch of random little snacks around and I'm like shoot I'm not gonna do well so then after I had that I had a few potato chips and I'm like I was still within my calorie goal like I still was under my calorie limit but I'm like this isn't what I want to be doing and then I'm like maybe if I eat something sweet I will just kind of fix that craving a little bit. So I had a single Hershey's kiss and then I tried to drink a big glass of water and I'm like, crap. I still feel like so much like I just wanted an ice cream cone and that's what I actually wanted. And now I'm just eating all this stupid stuff. And even I tried to eat a few carrot sticks to try and like, I don't know, but my it's so funny because I do think that weight loss requires like emotional and mental energy and I was with a bunch of people and we were talking about a couple of things that were a little bit like heavy emotionally heavy subjects a little bit people that we care about that are struggling and I think it's so funny how like having mental or emotional stress like lowers your capacity to be able to make healthy decisions in terms of eating. I felt very much like 
I want to just eat something right now. And I ended up leaving the party with, I think I had about 200 calories left in my, um, in my, you know, under, under the limit. And I said to Ezra, he was going to get gas. And I'm like, why don't we, could we just stop and get a small ice cream cone? And then I will just have what I wanted and be done. And I looked up the calories and it was like 220 for a kitty cone. And I'm like, I'm going to go a little bit over. And then he went, he went in to get the ice cream cones. And I looked and realized, I think he's going to get a single scoop, which is 360 instead of a kitty cone, which is 220. <laughs> I bet you that's what he's going to do. And he went in and came out and I looked at it and I said, is this a single scoop or a kitty cone? And he said, I think it's a single scoop. And I'm like, yeah, I think this is a single scoop. <sighs> and I literally ate it, which means I went over my calorie limit by 100 and I had 200 left and I had 360. So that hit, I went over my 160 calories and I kind of knew, all right, I'm going to go over my calorie limit today. And I don't even know what made me think that that was like, okay, like, I don't know where in the decision-making process I decided, I guess I'm not going to hit my calorie limit today. I was logging my calories, like, as I was eating them. Like, every time I ate something, I would just open up the app and put it in there. And so I could see the needle, like, kind of going up. And I listened to all the videos today. And I took my walk. I think it was just that... I didn't have a plan ahead of time, maybe. And also, yeah, just not having a plan, I think. And also kind of because it was a holiday, it kind of felt like, well, I want to have something kind of special and not just be super strict today. I think that was kind of in my head. I don't know, but I don't really like this trend because I feel like yesterday I had exactly my calorie limit and today I had 160 over and I'm like, hmm, I don't like this trend. So I'm making this video, just trying to be really honest about where I am and saying tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and have, you know, exactly the right breakfast. I am going to do my grocery shopping and I did a little bit of meal planning sort of with delight and... I'm just going to get right back on tomorrow morning. And it's not like I totally blew it. It's not like I had like 3,000 calories or something. I I think my total was like 1,560 or something at the end of the day. Um, but it is a little bit disappointing that I was just feeling... Um, yeah, like I was at someone else's house. And I was just feeling hungry and like not happy and not... Like, I didn't have any good choices right in front of me. There was just, like, potato chips and pretzels and, like, you know, like, none of those things. And I should have been more maybe proactive to say, I need to eat something. Like, I can't just sit here and snack. I don't know. But as we said yesterday, every time you eat, it's a learning opportunity. And a little win is... I literally did make myself stop like I had pretzels and I looked at the calorie thing and said okay that is exactly that's that's how many calories I want to have of that no more and I had even, even when I had chips I was like nope this is a portion and that's what I'm having one portion so I don't know I guess you win some you lose some but I'd like to win more <laughs> Hopefully this won't set me back too much. Let me look at, let me show you my pretty flowers. Giselle got me the petunias and Eric got me the hydrate. I'm so happy. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Anybody who's watching. Um, Heather is, my Heather is headed off on vacation. And um, this week, there's just a lot of different things going on. My daughter's having surgery at the end of the week, which is a little stressful for me. And, um... I don't know. Just life. But here we go. I feel like, okay, we got up to speed. We are two and a half weeks into body slams. Just chucking along. I want to, I want to make, I want to like do it right. I want to do everything right. One of the things he had said 
this week was to write down a list of the habits. He said, the, what did he say? Like the habits make you, you make the habits and the habits make you. And he said, imagine the person that you want to be. Like the person that, I'm sorry, I'm moving my camera all around because I'm literally outside trying to have some quiet. But imagine that you are the person you want to be. What kind of habits does that person have versus the kind of habits you have? And Delight was, Delight told me she, yeah, on the last video that she was making the list of the different habits that she has that she knows she wants to, like, not do anymore. I think for me, the biggest habits have been, like, I don't feel, the things she mentioned, I don't necessarily feel like those same habits I have. I think that one major habit that I want to not have is... When I go to eat something, like if I'm going to eat at a restaurant or I'm going to, um, if I'm going to go to the kitchen and make myself lunch or something, I think that my thought is often like, what is the most, like what tastes the best? What's going to be the most like tasteful, satisfying? And I think that if I was in a really healthy per place, if I'm a healthy person, I would be going to a meal thinking what is the best choice for me in a whole way like not only what will make what will taste the best but what is the most like good for my body right now today and sometimes I mean sometimes that just means like okay today I know I need more vegetables or I need more protein or you know less calories but I think sometime in the future I can see a place where like yeah the best choice right now is a piece of birthday cake that is the best place emotionally and whatever like I'm not saying that every meal has to be only pure nutrition I think there is room in food for joy and celebration which I kind of had that in my head today too for Mother's Day a little bit but also not having that but having kind of a healthy sense of that is not every situation. That is not every meal. That is not every choice. Um, that is one habit that I would like to have different. That is, I have a habit of approaching food choices with the primary thought of what is the best, what is the whole best choice for me. That is one major habit I would like to have differently. Anyway. That's what I've been thinking about. I, besides that, I had, I did my walk. I listened to the song. I did, I didn't watch my nightly video today, but I did watch, there was like a bonus video on Body Slums this weekend. Actually, I think there was two. One of them was like called Get the Most Out of Body Slums and then the other one was like Weekend Whisper and I listened to both of them and I do feel like they are very encouraging to like stick on track. I wish, I think... I'm going to try and listen to the seminar from this past week, just the audio again. I haven't re-listened to the seminar twice since we started, but I would like to um, with the habit one because I thought it was really good. And I have, like, I have read through the notes and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's a really good, that's really good thoughts to keep in mind. So that's my day 18 on Bobby Slums. Hopefully this will, hopefully my, my over... Hopefully my ice cream cone will not set me back a lot. Okay. Bye.